here tonight. With ski season upon us, many people are booking mountain vacations. Yeah, now Vail police are warning about rental and security deposit scams. Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson joins us now. Spencer, you talked with a homeowner who was dealt with and says that they've dealt with these scams before. She says she even saw people outside her home recently who claimed that her house was up for rent when it wasn't. Karen, she says she never put her home on any of these websites for rent, and she says this happened to her nine years ago, almost to the day. Now she says she's sick of it, and she wants to warn other people about the same issue. I was uh, just checking to see what the weather was like, to see if there was snow, and, and then all of a sudden I saw on my driveway uh, three women in a minivan. Surveillance video shows one of the women taking photos of the home. So a suspicious Carla Rosenblum called law enforcement, who tracked the women down. He did speak with one of the women who said that my house was allegedly on a website. So um, they were supposedly being evicted and they needed a new place to stay. And so they wanted to stay in the area and they saw the house. They were taking photographs to show their friends and family about the great find. Rosenblum says she's not sure that that's the case. I did not put my house on any website. I scoured the websites that I know um, and that I'm familiar with. Um, from one man's junk to um, Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace, VRBO. Rosenblum thinks it's fishy, and either those women were about to be scammed themselves or could have been making a scam of their own. It's happened to her before when her house appeared for rent on Craigslist. From what I understand, some people did send money um, to a bank account in Sunnyvale, California to Wells Fargo through a routing number um, and they gave my real estate agent all this information um, and, and I, I, I felt really bad. They used my name and everything. She says the desperate nature of housing up here is part of the issue. Uh, usually by the end of October if people don't have their ski houses when you see something that's too good to be true by November 1st it probably is and people are scrambling to get a place to live that's reasonable and usually they can't find it by then. Now, Vail Police said that a good way to spot these scams before you actually get uh, caught in them is to watch for grammatical or spelling errors. They say a lot of these scammers are actually operating overseas, and it's an easy way to catch something, and if it just doesn't feel right, you should probably look further into it. Live from Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer, great advice. Thank you. Well, we're still